Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my home, welcome back to my kitchen. So it has been a while since I have done a true good solid meal prep video and I'm really excited to start in to this new series I'm kind of doing on budget friendly meals, how to shop budget friendly, how to prepare delicious nutritious meals for your family while saving a penny along with food preservation and just ways to efficiently feed your family in the day and age that we are in right now. And I feel like that tips and tricks for that purpose are so needed and I'm excited to share with you the things that I have learned through doing a lot of meal prepping and a lot of healthy cooking for my family, things that my mother and my mother-in-law have taught me along the way. Um, I've just really gathered a lot of fun things that I'd love to share with you. So we are going to be tackling some different recipes today. We're gonna to jump right into that, but I didn't want to forget to mention that I will be making some extract later on in this video. I know I mentioned it in the last video I put up. I've been making a few extracts. I think I have three or four in my cupboard that are developing and getting their good um, bold flavors, but I really want to make an orange extract today. So we will probably tackle that a little later on. In the meantime, we're gonna dive right in and get started. So one little project that I've been meaning to accomplish is to make some single serving soups, mainly for myself and my husband. Um, he loves in these colder months to take soup with him to work. He's a fencer, he builds fences, so he's outside in the cold air. So having a thermos of something warm to um, eat along with him is really important. And I also love having something easy and healthy right on the shelf to just heat up and keep going through my day. So the first thing that you're gonna see here is cutting up these bell peppers that were in those freezer packs. And if you guys remember, I mentioned in the last video that I had found a really good deal on bell peppers, so I took advantage of it. And that's one thing that I always say with budget shopping and keeping prices down is when things are on sale, buy a lot of it find ways to preserve it and then you will have it for lots of other days whenever it's not on sale or the price is doubled or whatnot so it's nice to have it preserved in a couple different ways you all saw me canning the peppers and onions in the last video and then here you're seeing the packages whenever I vacuum packed some of the bell peppers in strips and it makes it nice because if I want to use the strips I can or like in this recipe I wanted to dice up the peppers so I just chopped them up so this recipe is kind of like a chicken tortilla soup recipe um, I'm going to try to find the link for it or something similar to it in the description box I'm always tweaking recipes so I don't know that I followed it totally to the T but that's pretty much what this is so whenever I pour this um, into a bowl and heat it up or in a in a kettle and heat it up I will be adding some sour cream to it just to make it a little bit creamy But if you try to can milk in something like this it will more than likely curdle I want to say a big thank you to Dream Pairs for sponsoring today's video. I got three pairs of footwear from Dream Pairs that I have been loving. The first pair I got was a lace up winter fur snow boot. Since we live in central Pennsylvania, there's a lot of snow and so having multiple boot options in the winter time that keep the water out are super important. I also got a waterproof Sherpa snow boot that I've been really liking as well. It's kind of a shorter, more of a brown toned boot and I love that. And they have sneaker options and a lot of other styles as well. So I got these breathable non-slip knit sneakers whenever I'm on the go, working in the kitchen, just on the days when I am on my feet a lot. It's so nice to have a comfortable sneaker that I can throw on and wear all day without my feet hurting and get 
giving me a lot of great cushion. Their site includes a variety of other shoe styles. I recommend you check all of their different categories out. Each pair of footwear that I've shown you today also come in a variety of other colors as well. I was very impressed at their price point. Their shoes are extremely affordable. If you head to Dream Pair's website and use my exclusive coupon code Adeline, you will get 20% off on your order. Plus they have fast shipping two to five days for delivery in the US. All right, so back to our prepping. So here I'm using a new tool that I recently found thanks to Three Rivers Homestead. I love all of her great ideas over there, Jessica. And one of the things that she uses is this garlic smasher. It's kind of a really easy way to mince garlic. And to be honest, I've been really tired of cleaning out my garlic press and it just is getting old so i decided you know what it is time for a new tool <laughs> so this was really inexpensive i will try to remember to link it below it was a big help and i'm gonna love using it to mince other things so this recipe was pretty simple it had some jalapenos which is nice to have that extra spicy heat especially for my husband when he's cold and i also put gloves on because i don't like my hands on fire when I'm cutting up hot peppers and so when you're thinking of soups to can one thing you can do is can everything but the milk or can everything but the cream cheese or whatever you would add in to make it creamy I know that that's something that I'm always looking for are creamy soups and it is hard to be able to know how to preserve them but the, that is one way you can do it something else I want to try out is adding in powdered milk I use powdered milk a lot I use powdered milk to make yogurt and other things I have a few discount grocery stores in my area that I can often find powdered milk at a discount and to be honest in yogurt we really can't tell the difference that I used powdered milk mixed up or if I used fresh milk and with the yogurt you're getting all of the great probiotics that it offers whether it's powdered milk or fresh milk so that's something to keep in mind also with the fact that sometimes depending on the store powdered milk can be cheaper than fresh milk so using that for a milk kefir or for yogurt is something that works most of the time so what I am doing here is I am mixing together the last of my ingredients I'm not cooking anything unless it was already pre-cooked like my chicken that was shredded up in cans and pre-cooked um, but when you can something it is going to cook that stuff down so I'd rather not cook it you know more times than I have to so a lot of times I will mix up the ingredients as raw as I can like I said this chicken was already cooked and that's what I wanted to use in this but I could have also used raw chicken diced up and it would have done just as good of a job so right before I put everything in the canner I wiped the rims with some white vinegar it's just good practice especially when something has fat in it or meats in it um, just to make sure those rims are good and clean and everything is all going to seal well and of course you could definitely can anything like this in a quart size but like I said a lot of this is for lunches and so having you know a cup and a half to two cups of soup in a pint is a perfect personal size All right, so per usual, we've got a lot going on in the house right now. There's people getting meals and whatnot, but we're gonna still keep on rolling with what I'm working on here. So my canner is not completely full with that soup, and I don't like to run a half full canner, so I'm gonna go ahead and whip up another meal that's a fast meal that I can pull out um, that'll be single servings as well and it's gonna be a really easy gumbo I actually pulled out one of my two is it two or three gallon two gallon um, Buckets here to mix it because I think we're gonna end up with even more soup than we did with the last recipe So I have all of the ingredients here um, My simple already frozen bell peppers that I got on a super good sale and vacuum packed a while ago and I have a bunch of them in the freezer so they're really nice I kind of vacuum pack them about what one pepper would be I am doubling this recipe we're gonna have sausage in it I have chicken chicken broth um, still trying to get through some of my store 
uh, canned diced tomatoes. So I'm just using them up for different things. And then I actually have some okra that we're gonna put in this as well. This is a frozen okra. Um, so I'm just kind of letting it sit out while I'm getting everything prepared so that it's closer to the same temperature. We don't want like frozen hunks of stuff in the jars. You're kind of asking for broken jars possibly if it would be kind of getting messed up with all the hot going on in the jars and there's still some frozen pieces inside. So we're just going to let those thaw out. We've got garlic and onions. So we're just going to kind of do the same thing and chop everything up. Put it in here, stir it really well, and then fill jars, and I wanna get the canner running. Okay, so just like I mixed up everything in the bowl, this was just a nice size container to do this, especially if you're doubling up soup recipes, because sometimes soups, the single version of the recipe, are really big to begin with, so you double it and you get a lot going on. So I thought that a gumbo would be a good soup dish. I'm not sure if gumbo is considered soup. Let me know in the comments. If you're from the south, is gumbo considered a soup or is it considered more of like a casserole or a stew maybe? I'm not sure. So I chopped up some sausage. Again, I pulled